Hello everyone, I am Anuj Nakade and you are watching Life Law. In today's video, we bring you an important development from the Supreme Court about competition law in India. Competition laws, as you know, are essential business laws enacted by the government to ensure fair and free markets by regulating anti-competitive conduct by the companies. These laws have the effect of ensuring that companies with more influence, power or capital cannot enter into unfair or discriminatory contracts. The Indian government enacted the Competition Act of 2002 to achieve this goal. This act establishes the Competition Commission of India and the Competition Appellate Tribunal, which hears matters and passes judgments on the issues relating to anti-competitive agreements and abuse of dominant positions in the Indian market. As such, the Competition Commission of India passed an order, wherein it has recorded findings and conclusions on various facets of abuse of its dominant position by Coal India Limited, the central government's public sector undertaking that deals with the mining and sale of coal. This order was affirmed by the Competition Appellate Tribunal later. The Commission had earlier also imposed a penalty of over Rs 1,773 crores on Coal India for imposing unfair or discriminatory conditions in fuel supply agreements with the power producers. Upon appeal in the Competition Appellate Tribunal, the penalty case was remitted to the CCI and the fine was reduced to Rs 591 crores. Then, Coal India Limited filed an appeal in the Supreme Court against the order of the Competition Appellate Tribunal. During the appeal, Coal India filed an interlocutory application seeking additional grounds for their appeal. The main contention of Coal India on these grounds was that Coal India Limited was a nationalized government monopoly under the Coal Mines Nationalization Act and hence it would not be covered by the Competition Act. It is important to note that the Coal Mines Nationalization Act gave Coal India Limited and its subsidiaries complete control over coal mines in the country. A three-judge bench of Justice K. M. Joseph, Justice B. V. Nagaratna and Justice Asanuddin Amanullah heard this matter. The court noted that two laws were important in this case, the Competition Act and the Coal Mines Nationalization Act. The bench also noted that the Nationalization Act was enacted to give the central government the right to control the coal mines so that they could be operated so as to ensure safe working conditions, fair wages and to prevent unsustainable and unscientific exploitation of the resources by privately held coal leases. The court further stated that the Competition Act was enacted with the intent of facilitating faster economic growth in the backdrop of the paradigm shift in the economic policies post-1991 economic liberalization. The bench highlighted that the Competition Act aimed at tabooing anti-competitive agreements and thereby promoting competition. Section 4.1 declares that no enterprise or group shall abuse its dominant position. Section 4.2 defines dominant position as to be position of strength enjoyed by an enterprise in the relevant market in India. The Act also deals with the question of whether an enterprise enjoys a dominant position or not under Section 19.4 of the Act. Now, the appellants are government companies. They were brought into being in the context of Section 3 and 5 of the Nationalization Act. The court therefore observed that they are created to take the place of central government in the matter of supervising, control and managing the affairs of the mines. The court then analyzed the central question in regard of the applicability of the competition laws. Does the company carry out any sovereign functions? The court considered this question in light of Section 2H of the Competition Act, which defines enterprise and the only entities exempt from its scope under this definition are government bodies that perform sovereign functions. It was clarified by Coal India that they do not carry out any sovereign functions. Hence, it was court's observation that they cannot seek exemption from the applicability of competition laws since they are covered under the definition of enterprise. The court said, and I quote, what is excluded from the definition of the expression enterprise is a government department carrying on the government functions carrying on business in mining cannot 
by any stretch of imagination be described as a sovereign function. There is nothing in the definition which excludes a state monopoly which is even set up to achieve the goals in Article 39b of the Constitution. With these observations, the case has been now remitted to the Competition Commission of India for consideration of the matter on merits. And the remaining issues in the matter, including the application for interim relief and contempt petition shall be listed in the second week of July. That's all we have for you in this video. If you want to find out more about this case or read the order of the Supreme Court, please visit our website at www.livelaw.in. We will also leave a link down in the description to the full report and the order. If you found this video informative, please leave a like and tell us in the comments how we can shape our content to bring you your legal news in more engaging ways. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Thank you.